The Ministry of Commerce on Monday announced new price adjustments for fuel, but as far as Guy Joseph is concerned, the adjustments are unfair. Mr. Joseph says from where he is sitting, the consumers are seriously impacted. These same people who are in government today called us extortioners, saying that we were ripping off the people of St. Lucia. And we are talking about fuel being in the range of $110, $115 a barrel, uh, US a barrel. And fuel was not $15.85 during that time per gallon. So I want this Labour Party administration to come and explain to the people of St. Lucia what is happening with the fuel prices. Tell us how the free months pass through mechanism is benefiting the consumer. Because it is clear to me that we have a government in this country who is only concerned about their own well-being. Mr. Joseph says with the downward trend in world market prices, the island should have been benefiting from lower fuel prices. This is a government without a conscience. I cannot understand that in these difficult economic times, everybody is watching the news. Everyone is seeing that the prices have been adjusted. And you went down by one cent on a gallon of diesel. And the next adjustment will be all the way in January of next year. So you are telling me despite the reduction of prices on the world market, we have seen prices gone down by almost 20 US dollars a barrel. And we are getting only one cent adjustment in diesel, nothing on the 20 pound LPG and nothing on gas. Diesel has moved from $3.34 per litre to $3.33 per litre. The 100-pound cylinder of gas has dropped from $260.58 to $255.94, while kerosene has slid from $2.57 to $2.52 per litre. The retail price for unleaded gasoline and the 20 and 22 pound cylinders of gas remains the same. The retail prices of fuel products will next be adjusted on Monday, January 12, 2015. For the DBS News World, I am Jason Hollenseed.